happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. Hello, friends. How are you? It's April from Mama Loves Food. And we're going to cook tonight. Um, so I'm, I'm late. It's a thing. Um, pop on and say hi when you can see me. Leave a comment. I'm going to pull the comments up. I'm not just checking my text. I'm pulling up the comments. And, um, yeah, we're going to do that. So, yeah, I'm running a few minutes late, which is a thing that I do. Um, hi, Jaslyn. Hi, Sarah. How are you, gorgeous ladies? Um, because I was this time, this time, there's always a reason. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Gwen. Um, so... I was getting everything set up. We're going to do beef stroganoff tonight. Yum. We're going to do a quick and easy version. Um, and I was getting everything set up and I'm putting all the ingredients out, blah, blah, because I'm trying to be more prepared. You know. Um, hey, Abby, Becky, Samantha, Lisa, and Sarah, and Brenda. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to be prepared and responsible and getting my ingredients set up. And I'm going to hit live and I realize I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the sour cream which is basically the most important ingredient in the entire recipe. I don't know. There's only like four ingredients, so they're all really important. Anyway, thank you, Samantha. Samantha likes my shirt. Isn't that fun? It's a little 80s throwback. Um, it's from Amazon. Kelly can pop the link, and it's also in our Amazon store. Um, thank you, Summer. Thank you, Amanda. Kelly can pop a link in the comments in just a minute for the shirt. So... So my, my amazing husband, Wesley, um, you guys, I have the best husband ever. So, I'm sorry that you guys don't have the best husband ever because I have the best husband ever. Anyway, he ran out to the store. So, he's getting us our, um, he's getting us our, our, our sour cream. We're going to get going. It's fine. We don't need it right away. So, it's no big deal. Hello, Miss Irene. Hello, Heather, Karen, Rosie, Louisa, Yvette, Bessie, Cindy. You guys all look beautiful. All right, here we go. We're going to pan this to the top of the page so everyone can find it. My husband is so awesome. Carrie, you have a really awesome husband, but I mean, mine's the best, so sorry. Hate to break it to y'all. Okay, we're going to share this. Um, those of you who are new here, if you're bored with this part, don't blame me. It's a super boring part. It takes about three to five minutes, um, but go ahead and sign up for the text message alerts. And you'll get a text message when we're done with the boring part. And then you won't have to watch it. Kelly can pop that in there, too. It's 2 a.m. Oh, my goodness, Abby. You must be tired. I'm a night owl, too, though. I didn't go to bed. I didn't go to bed like, 4 last night. And I've been miserable all day because I'm so freaking tired. Hello, Miss Lisa. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Sarah. Thank you. Hello, Monica. You could totally rock this shirt. Best hubby ever, Lynette, right? Okay. 365 days of baking. Miss Lynn site. Domestic superhero, Miss Allison site. Hello, Miss Karen. I see everyday pan. Yes, I love this pan so much. This one, I'm using the Le Creuset version tonight because I wanted the higher edges. But um, those of you who are here regularly know that there's also a Cuisinart version if you're not wanting to throw all your money at it. Samantha, I tried signing up for text messages, but it doesn't work for me. Uh, message us and we can try and troubleshoot with you. Not while we're live, but afterward, I can certainly help you. The shirt is from Amazon. If you check out our Amazon store, it's in the description. Um, you'll find it in there. It's the most recent thing I put in there, so it should be super easy to find. Size, if you want it big and loose like this, you're going to size the way up. So I'm normally a size 16, and this is a 4X, and it's very, very roomy. I probably could have gone with a, with a 2X, maybe even a 1X, but I wanted it to be super loose because I've been wearing with leggings. Um, okay, we are... Sharon to the Lula site. Thanks. Hi, Emily from Delaware. Um, the Everyday Pan is hashtag amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Almost done over here. I know this is the boring part. We're going to share from this. Jen, Princess Pinky Girl. Did you guys get all these sites? I haven't been getting a... I haven't sent the text message out yet. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Craig. All right. We're still sharing. Getting there, getting there, getting there. We're going to share to Miss Holly's page, Quirky Mama. Um, hello, Miss Catherine Vanko James. Where have you been hiding? You are welcome, Miss Lisa. All right. Almost done, I promise. Share over to Miss Stephanie's page, Spaceships and Laser Beams. Hello, Michael Harris. Cold weather. Girl, it's hot here. It's gross and hot. 
I gotta work in Starbucks where they keep the air conditioning really low so I can pretend that it's cold out because it's not cold out, y'all. Not here in Miami. Okay. Um, we're gonna share the two groups. Hello, Miss Colleen. Hello, Sue from Aris, from Australia. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Gulshan. Okay, almost done. I swear, I say that every time, but we really are almost done now. And then we'll send the text message alert. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, we will get cooking. Oh my goodness. Edith says it's warm here. Didn't know what you're cooking, but I bet it's good. I hope so. We're going to do some beef stroganoff. Um, and instead of putting it over noodles, because I'm not eating noodles right now, we're going to do some baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. How's that sound? All right, and we're going to do this in the kitchen group. Are you guys in my kitchen group? In the kitchen recipe share page? It's literally what it's called. Type that into Goop, into... Type that into Facebook, type in the kitchen recipe share page and our recipe sharing page will come up. Hello, Miss Kathy, thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for sharing. Thank you, Susan, for sharing. You guys, sharing is a huge deal. Facebook, um, basically, that's how Facebook knows if you like something um, and that's how they uh, decide whether to show it to more people. So, sharing, sharing, sharing is a big deal. Share it in your group, share it in your on your wall, share it to your friends. Um, big deal, big deal, big deal. Okay, so we're gonna grab this video URL. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna set it over here. We're gonna go live. We're gonna say live alerts. We are on, yo. On now. Paste. Oh, no, we can do this. Paste. We are on. Here comes our text message alert. Uh, you'll be new in that group. All right. It's literally just professional recipe developers sharing recipes all day. It's not like a chat group. It's a, it's a, um, it's, 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 it's just all recipes all day. Hello, Donna. Thank you for sharing Bobby and Valencia and Sharon and Tammy and Jean. Y'all are wonderful. It's been a great birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Everyone say happy birthday to Lisa. Cooking live now. Join us at Mama loves food on Facebook. And there's the link and we're gonna text message. Tell me if you got it. If you got it, we're gonna get started cooking. Thank you for sharing, Lisa. Thank you for sharing, Carrie. Hi, Angie. Sharing is Carrie Robin. Thank you, Donna. You can get it on Amazon. I was wearing my cute um, Valentine's Day leggings with it earlier, but then it got warm because it's freaking hot out. Hello, Denise. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna we're gonna get the potatoes started first. They're gonna take about 10, 10 12 minutes at pressure, um, about 20 to 30 minutes total, and that'll be just enough time to, for us to do our stroganoff topping in the everyday pan. And then there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. And then we are going to um, put it all together. It'll be delicious. Hashtag yay. I'm going to wash my hands real quick and we're going to get going. And it looks like y'all got the text. A few of you have said you got the text, so we're happy about that. All right. Grab ourselves a towel here. Oh my goodness. I am wearing summer. Um, I am wearing, oh, this must be a new cut towel because it's shutting on me. Um, so, oh, I'm here. We're getting a blizzard. A blizzard sounds craziness. Okay, so we're gonna pull our potatoes out. I'm gonna tell you in a second. Um, so I'm a 14, 16. I'm like, I'm like a 16 top, really. Like uh, 14 if I'm 14, 16. Anyway, um, so this is it. Everyone I know that has this said to go ahead and size up. So I sized up a whole lot. There you go, Kelly. Just put it in the comments. My shirt. Um. I went to a 4X. Now, I probably could have done a 1X or a 2X because um, it is really, really big. But I actually really like it big. So, just for context. I'm going to go ahead and rinse these real quick. And then we will get our scab on. We're going to stab them and then we're going to stick them in the Instant Pot. Don't let me forget to put water in the Instant Pot. Okay. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, four. I don't know how it goes. Now we're calling it 
baked potato, you guys, but it's really not baked potato because baking a potato would, um, we, we ha you can only bake a potato like in the oven. So, guys, this definitely does on it. Yeah. So, we're technically in the instant pot, you're steaming the potatoes. Happy birthday to you. Um, yeah, so the, in the instant pot, you're steaming the potatoes. If you want them to have the crunchy skin on the outside, you're going to have to um, stick them in the oven just for a few minutes um, after. Hello, Miss S. Uh, Sassy. Girl, I almost said your name wrong. Everyone say hi to my hopefully future sister mom. I'm not supposed to say that. But a girl can dream. Okay. Steamed potatoes, yes, these are steamed potatoes. Um, but we're calling them baked potatoes, because whatever, close enough. Um, have I tried HelloFresh? Uh, Kelly tried HelloFresh. I like, um, I, I've tried HelloFresh. I haven't tried HelloFresh. Kelly tried HelloFresh. You'll have to ask Kelly how HelloFresh was. Um, I almost just stabbed my, I came so close. I really need to look what I'm doing. Um, what was I going to say? Home Chef is the one I tried that I really liked. I don't remember if I stabbed this one. I'll stab it again just in case. My daughter's at Disney World for cheerleading. Woohoo! Alright. I think I stabbed them all now, but we're just gonna, you know. Snowstorm in Rapid City, South Dakota. We were in Rapid City over the summer. I loved Rapid City. It was so nice. Thank you, Nanette. It's, uh, I got it on Amazon. The link is in our description. If you click share on the video, you'll be able to see the description on your wall and it'll be there. Okay, so we've got our potatoes. We're gonna put about a cup of water in the bottom. You can use chicken broth, but I don't think it'll really impart any flavor since you're not putting it in there. Um, so water works just fine. And then you wanna have either the rack that your um, Instant Pot comes with, or if you're like me and you lost your rack, a steamer basket works just fine too. Alright, we're gonna pour that in. We're gonna put our potatoes. We've got four. You can do about up to six at a time. I probably wouldn't do more than six. Maybe eight if they're small, but some of these are big. So two, three, four. We're gonna scoop this out of the way. We're gonna plug this bad girl in. You guys, I need to get a decal for my instant pot, by the way. What do you think I should get one? What do you think it should say? Make sure it's not above the max line, too. All right, so we're going to check our seal. Our seal looks good. There's nothing big to check, just to make sure it's in there. Make sure that the buttons move freely. Once you've done that, you're going to line up your arrows. It's going to sing to you. You're going to turn it. It's going to sing to you again. You're going to make sure the top button is on sealing. You're going to put manual. You're going to put, we're going to put 12 minutes. Actually, we're going to do 13 minutes, because some of those are big. Um, and then we're not going to touch it. Once we haven't touched it for about... 10 seconds. Um, this thing is shutting everywhere. I'm going to grab a different one. Once, yep, there you go. Once you haven't touched it in 10 seconds, it knows, look, we're going to use the ones my kids made me. Um, once you haven't touched in 10 seconds, it knows that means you want to start on the settings that you've left. So it will go. Thank you, Lola Lola. We are going to make some beef stroganoff. Y'all, my husband started a dishwasher. He probably, no, you know, I probably just started it because that wouldn't make sense unless he put a timer on it. I don't even know if that's a thing we have. I probably bumped it closed and just started it now, didn't I? Anyway, I put the water in. Yes. Okay. So the, the baked potatoes are, are going right now. So now we're going to work on the stroganoff. Um, just, oh, oh, I hear my husband. I told you, best husband ever. Best husband, and I just blamed him for starting the dishwasher. I'm terrible. Decal. Yes, I want a decal for my pressure cooker. I haven't decided what I want yet, though. Okay, so we need a pound of ground drained, <laughs> ground drained ground beef. Say that three times fast. A small yellow onion dice. Look at this sexy man. We're gonna be sour cream. A uh, small diced yellow onion. Eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. A tablespoon of minced garlic. Sixteen ounces of sour cream and beef bouillon. 
Boom. So we're going to go ahead and oh, you tried a plantain for the first time ever. Oh, they're so yummy. What, what kind did you try? Did you try? Um, I should have been getting this hot, by the way. Um, you had me on taco. Oh, yeah. We've got some good t-shirts up there and there's more coming, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah. Love those shirts. Does it not get hot on the outside? No. Uh, yeah, it gets hot on the outside. It gets hot. Not like crazy, crazy hot, though. But it does get hot, I think. Pretty sure. I don't know. But they sell decals for it. I'm sure they wouldn't sell decals for it if it didn't work. Right? Boom shakalaka, boom. That is right. Okay, so this is heating up. We're going to put our um, ground beef in it when it's done heating. In the meantime, let's go ahead and cut our onion up. What? what? Ooh, that's wet potatoes. Okay. Plantains are... Delicious. What should I put it on? Put what on? Your plantain? I just put it in my mouth. I put a little bit of salt on it and stick it in my mouth. Super delicious. What kind of plantains? Are you are you eating ripe plantains? Are you eating unripe plantains? Because it's different. It's different. Unripe plantains are more similar in, in flavor to like a potato. Whereas ripe plantains are I know, I was just thinking I'm not I'm wearing glasses and I'm not wearing contacts which means I might cry I don't like to cry on camera you guys but I've done it before a few times it's not my favorite lipstick shirt Kelly just um Kelly just put a link to the shirt I'm wearing uh in the comments um the lipstick shirt is from Amazon you can order it it's not expensive and it's super cute I sized up a lot this is a 4x um but it's like I'm a six I'm a size 16 normally all right so we're going to do our onion. What was I saying? Oh, so uh, what's a plantain? So the ripened plantains taste more like banana. They don't taste like banana, but they taste more like banana. Like it's, You're not going to mistake it for a banana. Um, green and ripe are great with sautéed crispy garlic. Yes, they are. I like to do the tostones where you fry them and then you flatten them and then you um, either fry them or bake them. Oh my goodness. Dip them in some cilantro garlic sauce or some creamy chimichurri sauce. Heaven. So good. You can use them as buns for your sliders. So good. Hi, Miss Diana. How are you? I bought just one. It's ripe. Okay, Kelly, when you go to the website and look up the... Oh, crap. Oh, you guys, I put my makeup on so good tonight. It's all going to come running off again. Um, Kelly, will you go and find the, how to, how to, I think it's how to bake a plantain or how to cook a plantain on the website and put the link up for that. Um, it's so, if you just got one right plantain in the, um, in the skin, my favorite way to do it is stick it in your oven or stick it in your toaster oven and just cook it until the skin turns black and it kind of pops out and then put a little bit of salt on it and eat it just like that. Holy crap. It's so good. So good, so good. Oh, I'm crying. Oh my goodness, you guys. I should never cut onions without my contacts in. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna scoot these out of the way. We're gonna wash our hands. Ooh. So those of you who are not familiar with the Instant Pot, it does, so when you say 10 minutes in the Instant Pot, you're not saying 10 minutes for cooking. Um, hey, Nagad, we're um, cooking. We're going to do, what's coming to temperature now? We're going to do some beef stroganoff over potatoes. Yum. Um, and then we've got our onions, or our mushrooms, excuse me. Um, so the recipe calls for eight ounces. I love mushrooms, though, so we're going to do 12 because they were on sale. Thank you, Miss Deb. That's awesome, Stephanie. I'm super jealous. Tostones, like nachos, yes. So good. My kids love those honeys too. I fry them up and then um, we just heat them up in the in the um, toaster oven the next day. Mm, so yummy. All right. If you light a candle and burn it close to where you're standing, y'all have the best. Y'all have the best tips. Oh yeah. All right. We're just gonna rinse our mushrooms and we're gonna cheat. We're gonna ooh. Rinse that. We're gonna cheat. We're gonna use um, squeezy garlic. I don't feel like chopping garlic right now. How is the bottom of the shirt? 
it's got it's like it's so the fabric is like t-shirt fabric or like maybe like a slightly heavier than t-shirt t-shirt fabric it's not a sweatshirt it's not thick and then it's got the band around the edge stretchy band all right okay I'm gonna grab our squeezy garlic out that squeezy ginger or their squeezy garlic I'm addicted to these squeezy things. I mean, the fresh stuff is amazing, don't get me wrong, but Kelly says, if you keep your onions in the fridge, the cold will help draw out the moisture, making it less likely to cry. I saw it on Mythbusters. Good to know. I saw Allison cut her mushrooms in the container last night. Never thought of that. Oh yeah, you can totally do that. Ours don't need to be cut though, because they're hashtag already cut. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Monica. Monica likes my shirt. You guys, if you buy this shirt, I want you to take a picture of it and either put it on Instagram and at me or post it to the wall. I want to see. I want to see us all in our sexy lip tops. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, you guys. Thank you. I, I, my kitchen is from Ikea. It's, a, it's an Ikea kitchen. Not expensive. Hell yeah, tell you. Oh, what I was going to say about the Instant Pot was, let's go ahead and skip this over. Um... Where did I get the garlic in the bottle? It's in the produce section of my grocery store. So when you read a recipe that says 10 minutes in the Instant Pot, it's not truly 10 minutes. It is, it is, it is. Um, it's 10 minutes after it comes to pressure. So it takes between 8 and 15 minutes usually, depending on what you're cooking, for the pot to come to pressure. So you have to figure that. And then if there's a, it depends on whether you have to quick release or pressure release if it's more time. Please read the comment above about the onion. Mm. What's the, I don't see a comment about an onion. Go ahead and repeat it. My lip shirt is from Amazon. Kelly can give you the link to that. Or you can click share on this video, share it to your wall, and you'll see the um, the link in our in our description. The link to our Amazon store has it. It's the first thing in the Amazon store. You can't miss it. Mom says, where did I find the squeezable ginger the other night? Same place. Grocery store at Publix. Publix is the grocery store I usually go to. Although I've been known to go to others. Um, anyway in the produce section. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Angelina. You look cute too. All right, so we're just browning this. I got extra lean, so I don't think I'm gonna bother um, draining it, but if you didn't get extra lean and you got a lot of um, moisture and grease, whatever, you can go ahead and drain it. There you go, Kelly just put a link to the Amazon store, so it's the first item in the Amazon store because I just added it. <gasps> look what else I got, you guys. My OG girls and guys will remember this cup. Do y'all remember that? No problem, Mom. Um, so our grocery store has it in two different places. Our grocery store has it in two different places, both in the produce section. So one where the refrigerated salad dressings are, and then two where the jarred garlic is. You can find it in both of those places at my, at my grocery store. Kelly, it says page not found. Uh-oh. Try again. Yes, it's my Tervis, my Tervis that my beautiful, perfect husband lost like a year ago. He left it at soccer practice, um, and he found it again. You guys, I have a thing for octopuses, both eating them and looking at them. We have one painted on our wall. Oh, good, it came up. Good, good, good. Who had a question about an onion? I didn't see it. I wasn't able to find it. Da, 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 da. There you go, Kelly. She got it. She said she got it. All right. We're almost browned. I'm telling you, this recipe comes together so fast. It's wonderful. Octopus is delicious and awesome. Okay. So we got our small yellow onion. Our... And also, by the way, guys, those of you who are not new here know this. But those of you who are new need to know that... Never follow what I do on the live show. Hang out with me. You're in my kitchen. You're sitting across from my countertop. We're having a glass of wine together. We're actually having water today, but sometimes we have wine. I got wine, and I forgot to open it. Anyway, 
Um, but a lot of times I miss a step or I go in the wrong order. Oh, look, our timer started. So 13 minutes on those. Um, so you always, always, always want to go by the recipe. Go by the recipe. Don't go by what I'm doing here because I probably am going to screw something up at some point. Um, Kelly, if your octopus was too rubbery, it's the restaurant's fault, not the octopus's fault. Because really good and well-made octopus shouldn't be super rubbery. Same with calamari. If your calamari is super rubbery, they they didn't get either it's bad quality or poor preparation. Thank you, Miss Alyssa. It's from Amazon. The link is in the description. If you go to our Amazon store, you'll see it there. Also, there's other cool shirts. Also... All my favorite kitchen things are in there. I need to add my jacket though. My favorite jacket's not in there yet. Aw, thanks Miss Samantha. We try, we try. Sometimes we skip steps though. It happens. Anyway, so we've got our ground beef is just about done. <gasps> Patricia made our chicken nachos tonight, you guys. Those chicken nachos are hella good. They're so yummy. They're so yummy. My husband asked if we could make them again soon, actually. Never had oct octopus. is yummy. Grilled octopus. Mm. Oh, so good. All right. We're just about brown. <gasps> Megan brought the, bought the jacket. I love that jacket. I love that jacket so much. Okay. We are going to add our bum, 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 onion. And we're going to hope we don't cry again. Outside. Put that in. The best. Everybody click the link to buy the Hot Lips Hula Hand Tee with long sleeves. <gasps> Would that be so fun? This could be like our team shirt. Team Mama Loves Food. So good. So good. I want everybody who buys it, I need a picture. I need a picture. Need it. <gasps> Becky just bought the shirt. I think she meant the onion in the fridge and won't cry. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. Thank you. I appreciate the tips. I always love the tips. I know some people get a little, eh, like, don't teach me how to cook. Y'all can teach me how to cook. Teach me anything you know. I'm not saying I'll do it. I'm not saying I'll try it. But I appreciate the knowledge. Drop some knowledge on me. Dan, if, you, um, if you're on a touchscreen device, now, if you're on a TV... If you're watching from a TV, which by the way, you guys, you can watch from most TVs nowadays. Um, but if you're on a TV, don't do this. But if you're on a touchscreen device, touch my nose, and the links will pop up. You should be able to see them. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work, click share on this video. Share this video to your wall. And, um, and, 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 and. When you, um, when you go and when you look at it on your wall, you'll see the description above. And the link will be in that. Also, if you rinse your onion with water, it will make you cry. I love it. I love these tips. So good. I made the salmon for dinner tonight, and we all loved it. Yes! That makes me so happy. Touch my nose. and then, I mean, you could touch my boobs, but that would be kind of inappropriate. So, touch my nose. Or touch the cabinet. That's a window. Touch the cabinet. <laughs> touch the Instant Pot. All right. Oh, my goodness. Anthony, you should totally buy it and wear it. Team Mama loves food. If you light a candle and burn it close to where you're chopping it up. Yep, that's what I, I keep hearing that. But it's kind of a safety hazard. So, I mean, maybe if I wasn't like with lights and camera, y'all can't see, but this kitchen is hella crowded right now. Like, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I don't get this bright and beautiful on my own. It's a lot of help. <laughs> Valencia just touched everything on the screen. All the things. So the dinner she fix on live, do you eat the meals the next day? Yeah, it depends. If I had dinner that night, I, ooh, I'll save, um, I'll just package it up for the next day. If I haven't had dinner or Wes hasn't had dinner, sometimes we'll have a late dinner and then just package up the leftovers. All right, we're going to throw our mushrooms in. Um, yeah, sometimes if we, you know, if we don't eat dinner for the next night, if I've cooked a bunch for the website already, we will walk it to a neighbor's house. It just depends. A chef on the Food Network said not to cut through the root end and you don't cry. Interesting. Interesting. I love all these tips. Alright. Let's 
gonna let this stuff cook. Cook, cook, cook. Deanna's watching me from work. Don't get fired, girl. Don't get in trouble. Don't do it. You can watch me, but don't get in trouble. All right. So mine's extra mushroomy because I added extra mushrooms. Just FYI. So y'all know. Oh, we forgot our garlic. See, I'm telling you, I always screw something up. It always happens. What did I say? A tablespoon? So those of you just tuning in, by the way, hi, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We uh, come on every Tuesday and Thursday, and we cook yummy food. All right, um, one tablespoon of garlic. It's kind of a heaping tablespoon, but that's okay. Garlic is yummy and healthy. All right. Lisa's husband loves mushrooms. My husband claims to very strongly dislike mushrooms, but then he eats them when I make them, so I don't really know if he's telling the truth. I told you the salmon story the other day. I just never know. Extra mushrooms equals more work for Mario. Rim shot. Hashtag, he said rim. Allergic to shrooms. You can totally skip them, Patricia. Absolutely, it'll still be yummy. If mushrooms are gonna are gonna make you go to the hospital, let's not do that. Let's not do that. On a break. We were on a break. Are you watching Friends? All right. I need to stop. I need to stop moving this around and let it cook. I don't know why. I'm like compulsively moving it around. My husband loves mushrooms. Please, please, please tell me what type of cooktop you're using. Okay. I'm going to tell you, and then I'm gonna tell you not to buy it. Um, it is an Oster like $10 one from, I think it was Walmart, maybe Target. Um, it really isn't great. It's not bad, it's not bad, it does the job, but um, it's not great either. It's not one I would tell people to run out and buy. I mean, it does the job. I've been using it for a couple years now, but fungus freaks people out. <laughs> it is a fungus, that's true. So yeah, it does the job, but it's not great. I keep saying I'm gonna get the induction version, but I haven't done that. It hasn't happened yet. So those of you just tuning in, hi, I started to say it. I'm April from Mama Loves Food, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com, Mama Loves Food.com. We have been writing recipes over at Mama Loves Food.com for almost 10 years. It'll be 10 years in September, August, August or September. I don't know. Um, and then we've been doing this live show as of next month for two years, which is in freaking sane. There are so many live shows you can catch up on if you're new. Um, tonight we are making easy beef stroganoff with, um, we're using ground beef because it's quicker, and we are making some baked potatoes, hashtag actually steamed, um, in the Instant Pot. Watching in the Philippines, hey Barry, haha, -ha, love the idea of the countertop. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, look, it's convenient, and if you've got, if you've got a pan that's exactly the size of the burner, that'll work fine. Anytime you, if you go even the slightest bit outside of the burner, it takes forever. So... It's not that, it's not, it's, but it's cheapy. It's super cheap. Do you use the copper cookware? I do not use copper cookware. I have, um, I use mostly cast iron, and then what I don't use in cast iron, I have the stainless steel. Um, thank you, Lola. Lola likes my kitchen. My kitchen is almost all Ikea. It is all Ikea. I don't think there's anything that's not Ikea in here. Um, the faucet's not Ikea. There you go. Everything else is Ikea. <laughs> and garlic. Yes, so much garlic. All right, this is almost good. And then we will add, let's see, one pound of brown drink. We're gonna say, using large pan. Saute onions and mushrooms, blah, blah, blah. Add garlic, blah, blah, blah. Add ground beef, we did it kind of backwards. See, I'm telling you, add sour cream and bouillon, and that's it. So as soon as these mushrooms are cooked to your liking, I like mine pretty well cooked down, but if you like them a little bit more firm, then you can add your bouillon and sour cream right away. Um, but we're going to let ours cook down a little bit more. I just bought a new cast iron set from QVC. Yay! Thank you, Miss Mira. Yeah, those of you who don't know, who didn't tune in on Tuesday maybe, um, I'll let you know we are not going to be here next week. We, My husband and I are going um, on a cruise to the Caribbean. Yay! Um, don't rob my house. We have a house sitter and a dog. Just don't do it. Also, I have nothing worth robbing me for. I have five kids and a dog. My house is not worth robbing. We don't make a lot of money. 
<laughs> anyway, so, so, we're going to be gone next week, but we will have Rachel from Easy Peasy is going to be on. I don't know if you guys remember her. She's done a few subs before, and then we need somebody for Thursday, so we'll figure out Thursday. Bye, Miss Deanna. Thanks for hanging out. Um, so yeah, we'll be gone next week, and then I'm back the week after that, and then I'm gone again the next week and then I don't think we're gone for a while so I noticed Tuesday watching rerun plants are gone from windowsill but I never noticed a black faucet nope the black faucet has been here since day one we have never changed our faucet um have my brother cook again I don't know if he will I'll ask him though I don't know if he will he might maybe is Sessie still on Sessie are you still on Sessie was on a little bit ago you guys remember Sessie was on too it was Casey and Sessie um, Sessie, if you're on, let us know. You want to cook next Thursday? Um, we are going, we are going, it's similar to the one I just did with my aunt. Um, so, Cozumel, Haiti, and Jamaica. Yeah, hottie brother. <laughs> my hottie brother and my hottie sister-in-law. Oh, she's not technically my sister-in-law. It's easier to say than brother's girlfriend. But then I always end up explaining that she's not actually my sister-in-law, so it takes longer that way, too. I don't know. Anyway, those of you just tuning in, in the pan, we have a pound of ground beef. We've got a small, medium-small yellow onion. We've got a tablespoon of minced garlic and 8 to 12 ounces of onions. And we are just sauteing those mushrooms down. This is, this is a new lip color. This is a new lip color. It's like something red. It's their red. So it's the same. It's Maybelline 24 um, still, which is in my Amazon shop also, by the way. If you guys have wondered what it looks like, so you can find it in the store or just order it on Amazon. Um, this one is their, whatever their bright red version is. The all day cherry is what I usually wear, and it's just a tiny bit more subdued. But... I can't find link when I put it in. I didn't get text notice. I must be doing something wrong. Jean, go ahead and message our page and we will help you figure it out. We'll do that. We love you. Yes, we're cruising. Don't have too much fun without you. I'll try to FaceTime. Not FaceTime. I'll try to live. I mean, I could FaceTime too, but that would take a long time to FaceTime all y'all. Okay. So, our Instant Pot just finished. And you guys, this could have been done five minutes ago, but we're just kind of messing around. Um, our Instant Pot look was done, um, is done now. So we're going to let it natural pressure release, which means we're going to hit cancel and do nothing more for 10 minutes. So it's 9.43. So at 9.53, we will um, open it up and release the pressure. What kind of pan am I using? This one is the Le Creuset Braising Pan. Um, so we want, hold on, 16 ounces of sour cream. This is not 16 ounces of sour cream. This is 24 ounces of sour cream. We love my husband though, so we're just gonna pretend we brought the right one. And we're gonna we're gonna itch it. We're gonna itch it. Um, so yeah, this is the Le Creuset braising pan, which is which is their version of the everyday pan. It's wonderful. It's in my um if you need a link to it. It's gonna seem like a lot of sour cream, y'all, but you want it to get super saucy. Like you want it to be, okay, that's roughly 16. Um, there you go, Kelly says you, need, you might need to sign up again. And then we need bouillon, which I'm actually using the Better Than Bouillon, because I love it, but regular bouillon works just fine too. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. I've been with my guy for seven years. Eventually we'll get married, but not. I always feel like I'm lying when I correct people. <laughs> right. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Sherry likes my shirt. Mmm, smells yummy. Okay, how much did I say? We said two beef bullion cubes, which is, which is, which is two teaspoons. Where's my, there we go. Uh, one teaspoon. Hi, Miss Connie. Yeah, better than bouillon is yummy. It's good. Except it's really sticky. A little tarred. Come out. All right, 
one teaspoon and <gasps> propose to Karen after 15 months. I love it. True story, my husband never proposed. Didn't happen. I asked him when we were getting married over the phone. <laughs> but hey, 15 years later, we're still kicking it. We still like each other. So that's a count, right? What kind of bullion? Beef bullion. This is the better than bullion, beef bullion, but it's just bullion. Beef bullion. Okay. Put this way, put this way, and we're gonna give this all a good mixy, 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 mixy. Yeah, so I was living in um I was living down in South Florida at my parents for my last year of grad school and I was moving up to Orlando because I had a job and Wes said, where are we going to live? And I said, well, we aren't going to live anywhere if we aren't married because I'm not moving in with anybody until I'm married. And he said, oh, okay. And I said, so when are we going to get married? <laughs> and then we picked a date. And that was that. Pretty exciting, huh? I use that brand for chicken. Yes, it's really, really yum. Cruises are fun. I like cruises. Do you like cruises? Oh my goodness, you guys. Can you see how delicious and saucy and amazing this is? <gasps> so I know the picture is in my web page. For whatever reason, it doesn't look super saucy, but y'all can see here. It's super saucy. Super delicious. Perfect on a baked potato. Perfect on noodles. So yummy. Been with my husband 25 years, two boys, 18 and 15, and we are okay. If it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. All right. So we're gonna just let it. We're gonna bring it back up to temperature because we just put that really cold. Um, we didn't put that. Um, we <laughs> we just put that really cold sour cream in. So we're gonna let it come back up to temperature. I mean, you could totally eat it just how it is right now, anyway. But Samantha says that's too saucy for me. <laughs> If you don't like it that saucy, you can just use less sour cream. Uh, are we gonna add potatoes? We're gonna do potatoes. We're gonna we've got baked potatoes in the oven, and then my kids will eat it over noodles tomorrow when they eat it. But I'm gonna do it over um, some. I'm gonna do it over baked potato. Oh, Denise says 28 years in September. Fantastic, Denise. We are 15 years in May, and we'll be on another cruise. You guys, I'm addicted to cruising. Can I just talk about that for a minute? Martina says, my favorite. Yes. <laughs> Can I see the bullion again? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> That's what we're using. And like I said, regular beef bullion would work just fine, but this is my favorite. It's got just a little more flavor. Um, so this is going to be, it's going to be right by the other bullion, like in the soup aisle. Um, but once you open it, you're going to keep it in the fridge. And it's like a paste. All right, so we are back up to temperature. And we've got three more minutes on the potatoes. I'm going to turn this off because we don't want to, we don't want to lose all that yummy sauciness. We're just going to let it sit. Lisa, Jamie, congratulations, 25 years in July. Karen says 21 years in July. Got married less than two months after high, wow, two months after high school graduation. I'm impressed. What's bullion? Bullion is like concentrated um, stock. So you add it to water and you'll have like beef stock, beef broth, or chicken broth if you're using chicken bullion, or ham broth, if, ooh, ham broth if you're using ham bullion. Okay, I'm gonna grab a um, hot plate and then we're gonna take this off the burner because the burner is still, still hot even though it's off. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, so deliciously yummy. I'm very excited about this situation. 48 years in April. Oh my gosh, I love it. Stacy, 15 years in June. Girl, I only beat you by a month. <laughs> Karen says I'm not quiet. I'm not quiet either. All right. Okay, so if, um, if you're doing a pasta, you can totally just toss the pasta in here right now, or you could do individual bowls and pour over however much you want. I just want to show you, or I want to show you 
how yummy and drippy and saucy it's gonna get your noodles or your potato all coated in that yumminess. February 19th, five years, yay! 25 years for Sandy. Ashley's late, it's okay girl. We're glad you're here. Anybody who tunes in late and wants to see the whole show, don't worry about it. You can either watch through the end and then start it from the beginning when we're over, or you can just share it to your wall and when we're off in like 15 or so minutes, um, just, 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 um, oh, oh my goodness, April, you're going to wait like two, three minutes after we're over, Facebook will process it and then allow you to start from the beginning. And the nice thing about watching the replay is, I mean, I love you being here, don't get me wrong, I prefer you to be here now with me live so we can chat, but um, the nice thing about watching the replay is you can fast forward the boring parts, because let's be real, sometimes you don't want me to you want to watch me stir for 10 minutes straight. Hello, Miss Luann, 37 years in May for Bobby, 33 for Rita, congratulations you guys. 23 years for Lori, 26 years for Kimberly. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. 45 years for Judy. Three years for Olivia, I love it. Still waiting for your soulmate. It, you'll find him, it, him or her, whoever you want. They're out there, just keep looking. God kiss a lot of frogs. I don't really believe in soulmates personally, but someone you can tolerate and hang out with and be a friend for a long time. <laughs> 28 years for Jackie, 11 years for Melody. Do any other Canadians know if we can get the bullion? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. All right. So we've got two more minutes on the potatoes, and then we can pull them out. Our Polish version of beef stroganoff is steak, sour cream, tomato soup, Worcestershire sauce, onions, mushrooms, or egg noodles. So that's the real version of it. We're doing the quickie version, but I didn't know there was tomato in it. Good to know. 50 years in August, Kathy. High five, girl. That's amazing. 56 years for Betty. High five, girl. Is that the winner so far? 56 years. 25 for Luann. Three years for Lisa. You're still a newlywed. Eight years for Cindy. Okay. 17 in June. Childhood sweethearts. Love it. Vicky, 42 years. I love this. I love hearing y'all. Your love stories. Love stories. Okay. I have never seen that in Canada before. I don't know. Maybe I bet it's available on Amazon though. We could find it on Amazon. Put it in there. All right, we're gonna. You always want to just cap it over with something. Don't put your hand right there because if there's still pressure in there, that steam's gonna shoot up on you. You're gonna get a steam burn, and those things hurt. Oh my goodness. My parents' fiftieth is in May. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna grab our. So this is not a clean plate. That's what happens when your 11 year old puts the dishes away. This is a clean plate. Okay. We are all falling in love with my cat. You do that, girl. You do that. I'm going to grab a potato out. Oh, come out. Mark them out where they roll. My parents have been married 43 years and we're high school sweethearts. I love it. And we're going to open this bad boy up. And I'm going to tell you it's not done. Hashtag real life. All right. Almost done. It's so close. We're going to stick it in the microwave. We're going to do so, rule of thumb. If your potato is giant and the size of your head, do 16 minutes. We're going to throw it in the microwave. That's going to happen. Watch out, dog. Oh, we're going to put a little bit of water in there to steam it. I'm going to throw it in the microwave for three minutes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're gonna do that. Hopefully that doesn't mess up our feed because sometimes it makes our feed a little wonky. Tell me if it's messing up our feed. Um, and then I'm gonna put these back. We're gonna keep these going. That should come up to pressure. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, there we go. It should come up to pressure pretty quickly since it's still hot in there. Manual, we're gonna do like Kelly is so jealous of my hair. Why are you what why are you jealous of my hair? That's not clean. I just tied it back. You guys, I was supposed to have my hair appointment today. I was supposed to have my magical, beautiful hair for our cruise. And I got canceled again. I'm kind of sad about it. We gotta try it at least, right? Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Holy crap. I forgot how much I like this. 
<laughs> I loved watching my son with the cube the other day. He is obsessed with that cube, man. He can do all kinds of weird stuff with it. I do not understand. That potato's making some weird noises in the microwave. Don't see the jacket in the store. Oh. Oh. Did I not put it in? Let me put it in. Hold on. Since we're just hanging out waiting for these potatoes to be done, we'll put the jacket in the store. Is there anything else you want me to put in the store? Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Yeah, get her out of my heart. All right. Let's see. I need to go back in my orders. I know. Isn't this shirt fun? I really want to order it in all the colors. I do. It's true. And that dress that I was wearing on Tuesday is in the store also, if you want to grab that one. Amazing. I love that one so much. Okay. Let's find this. Okay. I bought it in 2017. I bought it in like, what? June, I think? Right? I think it was June-ish. What did you decide to do with your hair? I didn't decide, Robin. I didn't. I was having actually kind of... Okay, so it's probably good and bad that my appointment got canceled because I had totally decided to cut it. And then I had a really good hair day. And so I just totally decided not to cut it. Oh, yay! Erica says, for Canadians, she found the Better Than Bullion on Amazon. Woohoo! Um, so, I don't know. I hadn't come to a... I had not come to a decision. So it's probably better that I had not come to a decision because I wouldn't know. Also because you're not really supposed to get your hair super salty if you, um, I wonder if those are done, I think they're done. Um, so my glasses are Anne Klein. They are also in the Amazon store. They were out of stock yesterday, but they might've been restocked. And if not, you can at least look there to see what the um, info is and find it where else. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Oh, where's the jacket? I know it's in here somewhere. I know it's in here. Haven't brought a dress in yet. I'm telling you, you're going to love this dress. It's so comfy. So comfy. Here's the jacket. Oh my goodness. This jacket I'm obsessed with. Okay. We're going to add it. We're going to move it. Oops. List. Where's my list? There's my list. I hacked mine off and got blue highlights. Ooh, that's fun. The shirt is Amazon, you guys. We're, the, we're actually talking about Amazon right now. <laughs> okay, move. Okay. Okay, if you refresh the store now, if you're looking at the store, if you refresh it, it's um, the jacket should be the first thing in the store now. Okay, let's check this potato and see how it did. Okay, well, the bowl is hot, I'll tell you that. The bowl is hot. When I get paid, I'm going to, yeah, I'm telling you, this shirt is, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I should have emptied. Let me, let me, hold on. There's a little bit of water on the bottom still from the steaming. Okay. Nice and fluffy and yummy and perfect. Woo, you guys can see. It's coating up nicely now. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so, yeah, you see, I'm steaming. <laughs> my glasses are steaming. I think it's the wrong shade of blue. Oh, no, it didn't help your Patriots win. How do you get the store on Amazon? Kelly can, um, Kelly can give you a link to that. Okay, so we're going to let that, it's pressurized. We're going to let it um, go about 10 minutes. Do they taste like they're baked or microwave? They're more like baked, Mom. The, obviously, the outside is not going to be crispy, um, but the inside is fluffy like it's been baked. You can see. It's pretty fluffy. Okay. We're going to dump some of our yummy stroganoff on here. Oh my goodness. I didn't eat dinner, so this is my dinner. Probably put more than I should have on there, but that's okay. I'm hungry. Nice and fluffy and yummy and perfect. Where is the store? So if you click share on this video, share this video to your wall. In the description, there will be um, a link to our gift guide and a link to our store. Um, the gift guide is all like cooking stuff. The store is everything, so it's like... Um, if I wear a shirt or a jacket or a lipstick or something that I think you guys will like or that somebody's asked me for a link for, um, we include it there. All right, so should we try it? <gasps> Angelina made spaghetti tonight. I'm so sad. I have no kids left that call it spaghetti. They all say it right now. Oh, that's hot. 
Mm, so good though. Yeah. That is so good. I am going. Going. <gasps> Thank you, Katrina. The shirt's from Amazon. Kelly, can you link to the shirt, please? And it's in the, um, it's in our Amazon store. Kelly's going to give you a link. There you go. Here's the Kelly just gave you the link. Um, I'm going to sit on the TV. I've been watching. Okay. Y'all know I'm a Netflix. I'm a streaming TV junkie. So Netflix, Amazon Prime, all those. Um, so I've been watching my girl Patty suggested I try Man in the High, High Castle. It's so good. It's like this dystopian future, like if Hitler had won. There's the Pacific States run by the Japanese and the, the Reich run by um, the Germans and it's it's hella cool. It's really well done. Super stressful, but it's good. Anyway, link to their dress. Chris, the dress is linked in the shop. So if you go in the shop and um, just click the link to the shop and then scroll down. It's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th item in the shop. It's after the Mama Loves Food t-shirt. Y'all want to see more shirts? My sister's working on more shirts for me. <laughs> Kelly says, I was going to have orange chicken, but now I need to go to the grocery store and get sour cream so I can make this. I'm telling you. So good. It's a show I'm watching, Valencia. The Netflix show, it's a show, it's not a movie, it's a show, it's called The Man in the High Castle, I think, something like that. Mmm, alright guys, you're all gorgeous, it's been super fun, Man in the High Castle, <clears throat> more Man in the High Tower, one of those. <clears throat> oh, Tiffany, I love you, no, but I'm trying, because <laughs> my pants are tight, but anyway. Have a wonderful night. You're all beautiful. I love you. I will not see you on the cooking show next week, but I'll try to pop on. Um, I'll try to pop on. It's an Amazon show. Oh, it's an Amazon show. Kelly or Haley. Haley, thank you. It's an Amazon show. Sorry, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. I just I just plug in the search and it pops up. I never pay attention to where it's from. Okay. Anyway, um, we will not see you on... We will not be cooking. I will not be cooking next week. We will have other people cooking in my place. So there will be a show Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure to tune in. Um, I will try to remember to do a text message alert if my phone is working on the cruise. Um, and I also try to pop in on the cruise and say hi and show you the balcony and the buffet or something. I don't know. Anyway, have a wonderful night. My shop, my shirt is from Amazon and you can get the link by clicking share. Share this video to your wall um, and the description will be in there. Or Kelly's dropped it in the comments a few times um, to the Amazon um, yeah, in the, it's in the Amazon store. All right, you guys are beautiful. I'll catch you later. And if you have any questions, go ahead and message me. We always respond to our messages.